guys, today I have a super exciting video for you. Today we're going to be talking about newborn stash recommendations. I have a couple different full stash recommendations for you as well as some like honorable mentions items as well. So today's video is sponsored by Green Maternity. There's always a link down below in my description of my videos if you guys want to check out the website over there. Some of these items have been sent to me by Green Maternity. Some of them are things that I have bought myself, but everything I'm talking about is available on the site. So let's talk about what I would recommend for a newborn if you were shopping on this website. So first of all, let's talk about fitteds and covers. That's going to be my go to if I had to start all over with a newborn, what would I do? Fitteds and covers are the way I would go. So if you watched my review on the assembly stuff, you know that I kind of had mixed feelings about some of the assembly items, but I really did enjoy using the covers. I think they're very streamlined and simple. They make sense if you are new to cloth diapers and I liked using them. They worked in the new newborn days and they worked all the way up until like four months with Barrett. So this is an awesome little cover. They do get a little bit pricey compared to other covers though. They are $18.50 a piece. But if I was really trying to do like a a very streamlined stash, I would totally go with the assembly covers, honestly. Now, I didn't really like the assembly fitteds that go inside, but an alternative to that are the oh so cozy two size fitted diapers. So they have a size one, which is the littler one, and they have a size two, which are for the bigger kiddos, just like assembly has. But I like the design of these oh so cozy ones much better than the assembly ones. They have a tongue style sewn in insert in here so it gets nice and clean in the wash. The assembly little design on the inside really bugged me. It held poo in. It was very difficult to get clean in the washer. This is perfectly easy to get clean in the washer. So I do really enjoy these Oso oh Cozy ones and they run eight bucks a piece. So very affordable for the inside part, the fitted part of the diaper. A little bit more pricey on the cover, but I really do enjoy these assembly covers. Now another cover that's also available at Green Maternity that I actually really enjoyed are the Baby Boo little newborn size covers. These guys worked really well for Barrett and they fit almost up to the four month mark as well. So these, the assembly and the baby boo fit just as long, you know, they fit just as early right when baby was first born and they fit all the way up until four months, which is a really big deal if you ask me. It's so awesome to get a lot of wear out of a newborn cover and these both totally did that for me. So if you want something a little bit more affordable, the baby boo covers are $12.95 a piece and I enjoyed those. I just like the way that the assembly ones are like super soft and flexible and even though they are a double layer of the waterproof material they're not thick and bulky i do find the baby boo are just a little bit thicker they're not quite as soft as the assembly ones are just fyi just my opinion well the whole video is pretty much my opinion right <laughs> So if you were to go with a full stash of the assembly covers with the oh so cozy size one fitted diapers on the inside, that would cost you $417.50 for 36 insides and seven outsides. I picked 36 because the first <laughs> couple of weeks with baby Barrett, he could go through over 30 diapers in a two day period. And I think washing every two days is a very reasonable amount of time. So everything I have, like all numbers wise, is all based on if you had 36 changes for washing every two days. As baby gets a little bit bigger, you might not have to use all 36 in the two days, but I just think that's a really nice, comfortable amount of diapers. So 36 of these, seven of these, because I feel like six, you could probably get away with six, but Eight is probably more than you need, so I picked seven of these. So it all just depends on how much how much you think you're going to need, and I know that's hard. That's a hard concept when if you've never cloth diapered before or if you've never had a baby before, it's hard to kind of pick how many diapers you're going to need, but that's just my personal recommendation. So you don't need one cover for every single fitted inside. You only need a handful of covers because most of the time this is not gonna get any poo or anything on it. Fitteds are really good at keeping the poo inside of this and then the cover on top is just like an extra special, super extra barrier for the poo to not escape. Uh, like we never had issues with like poo escaping a fitted and a cover. It's like totally blowout proof in those like liquidy poo new newborn days. <laughs> 
Anyway, so a little over 400 bucks for a full set of these. So I think that's very reasonable. You probably are gonna end up, you know, if you want a really comfortable stash, you might end up spending like three, 400 bucks on a cloth diaper stash for the newborn days. Um, but if you think about it the other way, you're probably gonna be spending about that much in disposables anyway. And if you have more than one kid, you can always reuse this stuff or loan it out to a friend or a sister or whoever. But if you are somebody who really wants to stick to a budget, I have another little option for you, which are flats and covers. You guys know I love me some flats and covers. That was always my go-to system for my two older kiddos. Oh So Cozy has some cotton one size flats. They're 27 by 27 inches. And and I think that's a really great size for baby. You can actually fold this up and let it fit on baby super well in those new newborn days. I love me some like muslin flats, but muslin is bulky on a new newborn. Bird's eye, just a traditional standard bird's eye one size flat is a great option for the newborn days. They actually fit on a newborn and don't look too big and bulky like muslin can. So you can get like 30 of these five six packs for 15 bucks a six pack, along with seven of the Oh So Cozy newborn covers that are available on Green Maternity. Now I haven't tried the Oh So Cozy newborn covers, but I do have an Oh So Cozy one size and I really, really like it. It has the crossover snap on there. You guys know I love that. It has a front panel, which is something that I like for the newborn days and double leg gusset. It's overall, it's just a really nice little cover, and I think that these adorable little dragons, I mean, they're just too, too cute. <laughs> but anyway, if you wanted to get uh, five six packs of the Oh So Cozy cotton flats, along with seven of the Oh So Cozy newborn size covers, you can do that for under 150 bucks for a full newborn stash. Now that's only 30 diapers, so you might have to wash a little short of every two days, like every day and a half or something, but I think it would totally, you could totally make it work if your baby's not like just absolutely pooing and peeing like crazy. <laughs> like I said, it was only the first couple of weeks, honestly, that Barrett was using like over 30 diapers every two days. Um, but anyway, yeah, so you can do it for 150 bucks if you're going with that little system. Now, another thing I wanted to mention is an all-in-one system. All-in-ones are really nice for the newborn days, honestly. Uh, I do really enjoy them. I know it's something that, like, caregivers would enjoy. You know, grandma might like it, your husband might like it, because an all-in-one is just like it sounds. It's all-in-one. You don't have to worry about putting on a fitted and then putting a cover on top, or putting on a flat and putting a cover on top of that. It's not two steps. It's one simple step, just like a disposable diaper that people might be a little bit more familiar with, okay? So this is the Imagine Newborn All-in-One. Now all on its own, this Imagine Newborn All-in-One does not hold enough pee, in my experience anyway. Barrett was out peeing this before he was even a month old, I believe. So you can add in a little booster in there. Oh So Cozy has little size one uh, cotton bamboo boosters that you can just throw right on top inside of this Imagine and it's perfectly fine. Great little additional absorbency you can throw inside of here. Still a really trim diaper. If you don't like cloth because you don't like how big and fluffy it can look on a tiny baby's butt, this is not gonna look like that. The Imagine uh, newborn all-in-ones are definitely very trim, not super fluffy at all. And then this additional little tiny insert, like it's not bad at all either. So throw that all together and you can do a full um, all-in-one stash. And let me see what that's gonna cost you. So for 36 of the Imagine newborn size, along with 36 of these little doublers to throw inside there, it would cost you $527.64 for a full stash of all-in-ones. And remember, you can use them on multiple babies. You can resell them when you're done using them. It's all good, okay? <laughs> it's just a little bit simpler to use. You know, daddies will probably have an easier time using something like an all-in-one. Now I will say, uh, these aren't gonna fit like up until the four month mark, like some of these covers will, like I was talking about a minute ago. Uh, the, imagine these, they'll start outgrowing around like two months old or something, so keep that in mind as well. 
Also, don't forget about snappies. You can use these instead of traditional diaper pens if you're going with like the flat diaper route. You can use a snappy to secure your diaper around the actual baby's little body. Um, really, with all these recommendations, you really only need snappies if you're going to be using like pre-folds or flats, something like that. So you can take your diaper, put it on baby, pull around the tabs here, and then use the snappy to snap on one hip side, the other hip side, and then pull it down in the middle and it just holds the whole thing together on baby. You also probably wanna look at like baby wipes. There are some oh so cozy baby wipes on Green Maternity that have a flannel side and a terry side. So the flannel side is nice to get like into the creases of baby's tiny little legs. And the, uh, the other side, the terry side is nice once baby starts having like more grown up baby poo when they start eating solids and stuff like that and their poo is just a little more chunky and not as runny. The Terry really helps like grip and get all the little chunks off of baby's butt. I know this is disgusting, but we're talking about diapers here, so we kind of got to talk about it. Terry is nice for the more like infanty toddlery days and flannel is nice for the new baby baby days, so it's nice that they're double sided. Now, you may be thinking, what about nighttime? Uh, since newborns don't usually sleep like a ton of time all at once overnight. You really don't need like a totally different option for daytime or nighttime. Fitteds are a great option. Like I said, my first original um, diaper recommendation, the fitted with the cover. This has plenty of absorbance, of absorbency in there that you don't need to worry if baby's sleeping like a good six hours or something like that. If you get a magic baby who sleeps like six plus hours, this will still be totally fine for them. You also have to remember in the new newborn days, they're only drinking like this much milk at a time, so they're not making big peas. They're not, you know, totally totally saturating diapers. You don't need like a ton of absorbency until they start getting a little bit bigger. So yeah, these recommendations will be totally fine as your daytime and nighttime diapers because baby's not sleeping a ton and drinking a ton where they would need like a ton of absorbency. These will all be totally fine. You wouldn't need separate diapers for daytime and nighttime. So yeah, those are my top picks for newborn stashes if you're looking at what I would do if I could start all over, um, what I would do if I was on a super budget, what I would do if I wanted something that was very convenient for everybody involved. Yeah, so I hope that this was a little bit helpful for you. I hope that you go check out green-maternity.com and see all the different cloth diapers that Melanie has there on her site. I love working with Melanie. She is so much fun. And also, she's actually the one who kind of came up with the idea for this video. So if you guys enjoyed it, please give the video a thumbs up. Go check out the link down below, like I said. Let me know down in the comments below if you've tried out any of these. Do you like the baby boo covers? Do you like the assembly stuff? Let us know down in the comments below so anybody who's watching this video can get other opinions, not just mine. I had so much fun putting together this video even though it was a ton of planning. There are just so many different options out there and so many different, you know, like parameters you can put on making a full stash. It makes it fun but it's also like kind of overwhelming at the same time. But it was fun putting together these three different options for you guys. So I really hope Hope you enjoyed it. I will leave the numbers down below in case you didn't catch what I was saying about what each stash would cost you. I'll leave those down below so you can actually read it and see the numbers for yourself. Okay. I guess that's it for today's video. I will be having a one size stash collection just like this one, but for bigger kiddos. Um, hopefully next week I'll have that video up for you guys. I have a whole pile over there with some notes over there waiting for its turn to be filmed. <laughs> So anyway, I feel like I'm rambling. I hope you guys enjoyed and I will talk to you next time. Bye.